Doreen Chapel died of COVID-19 at an assisted living facility in April. Her son believes she would still be alive had she not been disabled. For him, today's debate by MPs was long overdue. We look back at it and we look at it and we say, well, sorry, you know, maybe if we, you know, maybe if we had just brought her away from there, and I think disabled people and the disabled community deserve more. They really do. And all of the disabled groups and charities, you know, honestly, the government need to get behind them. In Bristol, I'm meeting Val Stansfield, who says she received so little official guidance, she ended up buying vital PPE from eBay and had to work out herself how to shield. Disabled people have been totally forgotten a nightmare because you're looking for guidance and there wasn't. We had a truly horrific statistic that almost 60% of the deaths had been amongst disabled people. How did you feel when you heard that news? Helpless. And angry. Coronavirus legislation relaxed council duties to provide support, including for disabled people. Government says that helped flexibility, but here in Bristol, Mark Williams is dismayed. He communicates with help from Maria. Mm -hmm. He feels disabled people have been made to feel a burden uh, and hung out to dry. Oh. And Disabled people have been an afterthought on everything. Disabled people are at the heart of policy, according to the government's disability minister. Today he said there's commitment to an inclusive recovery. But many disabled people who have so often felt overlooked and invisible now feel the cost of that could be higher than ever. Chris Choi, ITV News in Bristol.